hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and i went for a desert safari oh i'm not too sure if i'll go back it was my second time but hey 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 so my name is zach daniel if you're new here make sure you subscribe please and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back always supporting na muzidi kuongezewa pia nyinyi so hmm let's see this i don't know if personally i have phobia so they going up and down and you know how the desert is sandy so if the desert is sandy it means like you'll be going out so the screens that were in that vehicle oh my god so let me leave you with this and these are some activities that you can also do when you are in a desert so you need a four-wheel drive and it also needs an experienced person who will take you through the drive so ha huh, watch this and let me know in the comment section if you will do the same or if you, you can go for the desert safari as eh, some people they said yeah they can go for it but for me it was my second and last time <laughs> so we are now leaving the city of dubai we are heading to the desert the desert is located uh, towards abu dhabi and it's very hot here the dubai side was around 36 degrees and i expect the desert the temperatures to be even more higher so this is where our journey begins and you need to have experts and four wheel drive vehicles for you to maneuver through the desert so when you're going to the desert make sure that your stomach is not too full because you might end up throwing throwing up whatever you have had because as you go up and down the force <laughs> it's not something to joke with so as for me i think this is my last time doing the desert safari because i have phobia and i made a mistake sitting at the front seat <laughs> because last time was much better for me so i'm going to have some nice views like watch the sun and like do some activities in the desert it's in the video make sure i watch to the end and let me know if you have ever done this what your experience was will you do it for the second time or for the third time or will you always do it and if you have not done it kindly comment down there let me know as well so i hope you enjoy the video This is one of the camel stables and this is where they are usually kept.
which was a long 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 journey but we are almost getting there but before that let me just educate you about the plants in the desert you see most of them have really thin leaves like need their need like so the only plants that usually survive in the desert are those of thin leaves like the ones the cactus and the ones you can see there this is because they lose less little or no water and uh, that makes them to retain water that makes them to survive in the desert and the only animal that's always there is the camel this is because it has a hump that stores oil which helps it also for survival especially now that the sun is usually hot there and the temperatures are high so you cannot just find any other animal living in the desert or surviving in the desert so that's why you just only have that one and the temperatures are usually really high in the desert and uh, yeah that's how they are adapted they're, those are the adaptations to such kind of environment so let me know if you're enjoying the video or you are enjoying the virtual trip and uh, i can as well want you to have this experience so that you can know whether or not it's something you love to do and uh, yeah i am really really excited about it and as we go there i am going to show you just the views the views alone and the sun and you're going to have fun so keep watching We have now arrived at our destination and as you can see we are just many of us and different people from different countries and most of them are the white people it's because uh, there is normally rarely no desert in such countries and mostly they usually experience cold weathers for example the winter or the i think it's the spring let me know down there yeah so they're taking photos and it's just like a tourist attraction i am also excited and the sun is slippery and i'm doing my best to make sure that i am enjoying it as well As for me, my phobia could not allow me to do that. So I just had to take views and enjoy what I could see. And I really loved it there. And the sun, oh my God, the sun was something else. People taking photos. I took one as well, and that's my thumbnail. And we finished from there. We went and to another place. Here it is. And we had fun as well.
So when it came to here, I opted for the VIP. This is the VIP. And most of it is Asian food, as you all know. So it's uh, it has some chili. But at this point, you just get everything you want except alcohol for free. You don't get alcohol for free. So you are enter enjoying the entertainment as we eat. I was really swallowing <laughs> and stuffing my face. But I enjoy this part and seeing this guy taking, like, eating fire and spitting it out. Oh my God. But you know, every hustle and as long as he's enjoying, it's very nice. So went back home and that was the end of it. Let me know if you have enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe, guys. And till next time, see you same place. Goodbye.